Welcome to a city where bold shapes, rich colors, and lavish looks rule the skyline. The residents of Roaring Heights are living in the fast lane in this booming place, filled with striking skyscrapers and bustling beaches. What's up guys, Rakowski here, and today we are judging and rating all of the builds in Roaring Heights. Before we get started, please be sure to give this video a like, and if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button as well. You guys are the best, thank you so much. Also, if you're interested in having access to custom emojis and a loyal toilet badge next to your name, then feel free to sign up to my channel membership. It's cheap and easy, just like 20 year old me. Okay, with that out of the way, let's get into the video. Oh good, this world actually does have a panning shot. I wasn't sure, cause some of the store worlds, they just kinda plop you right in the middle of the map. What's up guys, welcome to Roaring Heights. Yeah, so I've been wanting to do this world for quite a while, at least for like the last two or three worlds which you guys were voting for. Unfortunately, you guys picked the ugly ones, so we had to wait a little bit to get to some of the store worlds that I enjoy. That being said, I was warned in the comments that sometimes these houses look really nice on the outside, but they have classic EA style on the inside. So we're gonna have to see what that means. But for the outside style, they really stuck with this whole Art Deco theme. So I decided to do a little bit of research before this video on the Art Deco architecture style. So that way I have a little bit more information going into the review. On first glance, it looks pretty good, except for a couple problems. The first problem is that The Sims does not have curved walls. And there's a lot of kind of like curved corners and stuff in this architectural style. You don't necessarily need it, but it is kind of like a standout detail. The other thing I've noticed is that a lot of these houses are quite bright and colorful. And I didn't see a whole lot of color when I was actually researching Art Deco, but that being said, some of the pictures were actually like in black and white, so I don't really know for sure. But I think instead of giving like a history on Art Deco, I'm just going to kind of point out things as I see them, kind of like what works, what doesn't, what's realistic, and what's not. And fun fact, this world actually has 27 occupied houses, so it's actually on the bigger side, so it's going to be a lot to get through. So let's jump in and get started. First up is Beachfront Residence. Okay, so I noticed a few Art Deco details. I love these roof decorations. I love the mailbox, love the light. And I like how the door is kind of like in like a shiny metal. That's definitely more of an Art Deco style. I really like the Art Deco style, even if I didn't know too much about it before this video. But now that I've like read up a little bit on it, I'm noticing a lot of little details. Now, unfortunately, this is still a Sims house and they've decided to make it like a big square, but at least they've decided to like break out here into like a balcony. So that breaks it up a little bit. I really like the overhang at the front, but overall, it is still just a square, so I do expect a little more from EA. Okay, let's jump inside and see what we get. Oh, what we get is the most hideous kitchen I've ever seen. Now, I, you know I don't like green tiles, and you know I don't like fridges and stoves next to each other. Now, what I do like is isometric patterns, which is what this floor is, but not in those colors. Now, speaking of the rest of the floors, it's like very much like a parquet flooring, which uh, I don't love this flooring, but I do like how it's something different. There's only like one or two parquet floorings in the actual game, so it's nice to have something else. Love this wallpaper. It's very much like an Art Deco style, like cubism and whatnot. Ooh, the bathroom's a little bit checkery, but why is there a bookshelf in the bathroom? I've never had a bookshelf in a bathroom before, but I think this is an author sim, and if you notice, there's like at least four bookshelves downstairs that I can see, so let's go upstairs and find the other four that I assume are there. Oh, never mind. There's only two two more upstairs, but they're huge, so they count as four in my opinion. Now, looking at this, I really like the bathroom. I love the separation into like the separate room for the tub. What I don't really like is this wallpaper. I know it's like a little art deco-y, but it's really more art nouveau in my opinion. But then again, I'm not an artistic expert. People let me know that in the comments down below all the time. But I mean, especially with the shell, I would definitely guess art deco if I had to guess which style they were going for. But overall, like it really is just the outside. The inside doesn't really scream art deco. It's a little too big to be an art deco house. And like, I really like the bathroom details and stuff, but there's just a few too many any marks missing. I'm going to give this house a four. One warning I got when we were voting for which world to do next is that the Roaring Heights houses are beautiful on the outside, but tragic on the inside. And so far, I agree. Next up is Beaming Abode. This is a very pretty shell too, so now I'm automatically afraid of the inside, but let's just take it for what it is. Even though it's like a big, ugly greenhouse, which I would normally hate, I really love the architecture. I love these balconies. I love the fencing. I love the window. These windows are much more Art Deco than the ones in the last house. 
and I love how they have again like it's kind of boxy but they always kind of like sink in like a little patio or balcony area I really enjoy that and I'm very glad to see like a garage like actually facing out to the street for once we've had so many builds lately with garage doors like upstairs just for windows and stuff but yeah very funky and creative and they hid the ugly blank wall on the side with trees so they're definitely up to something okay let's just jump in and see what's inside oh okay so <laughs> the entrance is literally nothing I don't know how I feel about this I like I didn't notice that as an architectural style when I was looking up art deco this green bathroom but at least it's my type of green I don't know how I feel about it though because like I'm looking for something good and so far all I found was an empty room and a green bath oh another green bathroom how lovely there are two more green bathrooms upstairs definitely matches the outside of the house I love this bedroom very sleek plain but still detailed like elements of cubism elements of geometry and like all those things I really love going into this bedroom I don't hate this either actually you know what as a whole I don't hate the color palette I think they did a really good job compared to a lot of other EA houses oh and green kitchens it's two for two on green kitchens and roaring heights so I don't know how I feel about that they also oh my god a fourth green bathroom this is absurd could they not have done like one in a different color for me now this is the other thing that they like to do in the sims they like to put green and blue next to each other and those usually don't go too well together in my opinion so I don't really like how they did that and I do find that this one is missing a lot of the like wallpaper details that's something you do see a lot inside of art deco homes think like the sims 4 vintage glamour stuff like still plain and flat and geometric but there's usually like elements and angles and you know like just things to make your eye dance around good lord the inside was definitely something to be seen but coming back out to the outside I definitely prefer this over the last house it's funky and nice and I know a lot of you love a good shell and like a renovation challenge so this might be a house for you, but I'm gonna give it a six. It's funny because it's actually in the same shade of green that I use for my number six in my videos, so maybe it was meant to be. Next up is Cozy Comfort. I disagree, but there's one thing that I love right off the bat is this curved wall with like the frosted glass. That's very Art Deco. I'm very happy to see that. I didn't know that item existed in this game, so like I don't, I don't even know where to find it. But as a whole, like this shell, it doesn't really look like a house. It looks more like a community lot again. It, like it, it almost looks like a school or a hospital or something. And I don't really know about the brick. The brick doesn't seem very Art Deco to me. I didn't see a lot of bricks when I was exploring it. I I saw a lot of like stone and flat siding kind of thing more like what you'd see in lucky palms and i love the windows but i don't love the window ing if that makes sense oh there's like a little skylight detail i've noticed this square skylight and i've used it a couple times but i wasn't sure how ea was gonna use it that's not a terrible way i guess but i guess we'll have to jump inside to see the rest okay uh give me a minute to kind of gather my thoughts where to begin with this i guess we can start with the gigantic empty front hallway like usual that's so weird when I was researching this a lot of the houses were on the smaller side and kind of cramped in together and that's how a lot of the starter homes are in this world now this bathroom I miss the green bathroom from the last house because this is something else I want nothing to do with it this green dining room is a lovely change from what I just saw to be honest you know what I might stop being a green hater after this world if they keep showing me stuff like this look at this kitchen this is unreal this is too big even for this house at least they put the fridge kind of off to the side but who decided on the daycare color palette I'd like to know and you can't really find like two styles that have less in common than art deco and art nouveau but they seem to be able to confuse me because again this carpet isn't really like a deco-y style in my opinion I much prefer the carpet in the in the dining room there okay going upstairs it's just as textured and interesting but I will give them credit for not texturing the walls because they did like a strong texture for the carpet and left the walls blank usually EA does both and it drives me crazy now this is a different kind of green bathroom is this art deco I don't really know Ooh, a walk-in closet that's a nice little detail I haven't seen anything like that but a walk-in closet is not gonna save this thing okay so far I'm getting elements that I absolutely adore things that like I cannot take my eyes off of for better or for worse but there are just such ugly weird decisions and like I said I did research before this and I did not see 
primary colored kitchen like that in any of the things that I was looking at. And honestly, it's the items that they used that I like, not how they use them. I don't like this one. I'm going to give it a three. I was so sure that like this was going to be a pretty world. I can't believe I spent $25 on a bunch of ugly houses. But I mean, at the end of the day, I am playing The Sims 3. So what do you expect? Next up is the downtown dwelling. Okay, so this is kind of interesting. It looks like the build is like the first half of the building and then the upper half is just like a decorative roof piece. I don't hate that. That's kind of an interesting idea to do apartments because it's still going to be different than Bridgeport, but I guess you'd have to own the lot. I'm not really sure about the specifics, but architecturally, I'm very impressed with it being like an art deco apartment building. They could have really screwed this up. Really like the color palette, nice and soft. Definitely more my style. I especially like this like orangey peach each color very very nice I've never tried to use a color like that before okay not much to say about the outside but let's jump inside oh dear okay so the first thing is like the first floor is like a parking garage which is fine so let's just go upstairs Ooh, a nice purple couch I love purple Ooh, I think these couches actually come with the world I never saw these before they don't look that art deco if I'm honest maybe if you change the white to something else it'd be a little better okay so apparently red and blue in kitchens is totally normal in art deco which I've never seen Seen before but I do think it's cute is this like little separate room for like the garbage and for the fridge but yeah like I said like this whole thing is a disaster plus they have a bathroom sink in the kitchen what else is in this house oh my god more parquet flooring there is so much of this cheap looking wood this drives me crazy this is in the land grab mansion in Sunset Valley and it just doesn't really scream luxury and I think that's what this building is supposed to be okay the bathrooms even though there's a green bathroom in the middle I really like how there's kind of like one of each different color color just to kind of break it up a little bit and I will mention that the green bathroom is the half bathroom so it's not the one that you're in the most what else is in this house oh my god it goes up even further look at this one I really like this bedroom it doesn't really scream like roaring heights or like you know art deco to me but at the end of the day what can we expect from EA wow a completely different colored bathroom they have four different colored bathrooms in this house well it none of them are white of course but at least I have a few white toilets and in terms of efficiency I will say like this layout is literally a disaster oh my god it goes up even one floor higher so there's like a games room up here of course it has a foosball table was foosball even invented in the 1920s I don't know I'm not a sports person but from what I can see this is gonna be a routing nightmare like you have to go down five sets of stairs to get to your car I don't know how I feel about this this house isn't even that big really it's just like tall right so I don't know it's not something that I would want to play in more ridiculous EA style choices I'm a little disappointed with Roaring Heights so far I still really like the outside the world itself is pretty I've played in it plenty of times building my own house of course but now like diving in I can see some of the shortcomings but this was a concerted effort and even though it's a routing nightmare it still kind of looks pretty so other than the kitchen I'm gonna give this one a five and just like looking around like it really blends in with like the rest of the building so they did work on cohesion at least for the outside I guess that's the part you see before you buy it well done EA next up is embellished excess embellished excess Excess is right. Actually, come to think of it, this is like a not so berry minty color. So might be a good thing to work towards. And looking around, like it does have that Art Deco style. They tried to do like the curved sides with like angled walls. I was afraid they were going to try something like that. And it just ends up looking a little too Victorian. And even though the windows are pretty plain, it came with some Art Deco windows like this world. So they could have used some of those. Now, that being said, they did use the mailbox and they did use like the outside lights and the little like roofing details. So that's kind of nice. And I've also noticed the use of tiles on the exterior and usually that drives me crazy. But in Art Deco, that is something that happens. So I don't mind it. And the stone roofing and patio and stuff, it kind of all goes in with the style. Okay, well, at least they kind of tried. Let's see if they tried with the inside. My goodness, another red kitchen. This is absurd. Except this one is red, orange, and green for some reason. I don't even see the fridge. Oh my God, it's over here separate again. Was that a 1930s thing? They keep keeping the fridge separate. I don't hate that. At least they don't put the fridge next to the stove here this dining room is like every other stupid EA dining room it's like just the dining room and like a little bit of light and that's it like no decoration no end tables no bookshelves tiny little blue toilet but you know what that's fine oh I love this wallpaper this is an art deco wallpaper I can finally see it unfortunately there's no light in the hallways for us to see it so we have to go over here 
Uh, this room's like a little bit too Victorian to be an Art Deco room. It's got like the bay window thing. It's got like the Victorian table, the wallpaper. I don't really like that. Okay, and going upstairs, we have a distinct lack of showers like we do in many EA builds. There's just two bathtubs here. Now, they're trying to use color a little bit nicely, but again, it doesn't really go with like the woods. And like when I think of Art Deco, I just don't think of boring parquet Ikea colored wood, you know? But as a whole, like I don't hate every color. I like how they use this like turquoisey kind of color in a lot of the build but I mean at the end of the day when you throw in this red kitchen it just throws off the whole thing but for efficiency wise this house is pretty good like usually a house that has like three bedrooms and four bathrooms would be like a routing nightmare but the stairs are double wide the hallway is nice and big there's plenty of room for everyone without them having to run a marathon to get out the door now although this missed a couple of the art deco marks I think it hit a few more than some of the other builds and I can see what they tried to do with the angles trying to be curves but it doesn't really work but that's more a limitation of the game and not so much the build. I don't know. This one is like a little bit more on my good side based on what we've seen so far. I'm going to give this one a seven. It's got a big, bold, bright style. And like I always say, I much rather them actually give it a shot than like have everything fall flat. So at least it's something. Next up is Embellished Excess. Okay, so this is a grand property and it's nice to have something like in a little bit of a different style. We're not really going for like the art deco thing. Now I love the art in the front. I love the land landscaping the fencing is very elegant the one thing I hate is the eaves trough like right on the front of the house I just don't think a mansion would have that I think it would be off to the side going around they actually did really well with the windowing the roof could have been a whole lot uglier it's actually like kind of blocked by all these trees and it's not even ugly so well done EA it kind of reminds me of like Oasis Springs or like Veronaville too which are kind of like some of my favorite types of worlds so I'm excited let's jump inside okay this is an art deco wall wallpaper. See how geometric and like bold statement it is. I even like this picture. That's kind of art deco-y too. Ugh, this isn't really art deco-y, but I mean, at the end of the day, they did a way better job with this. I know this is going to look like an EA mess of texture, but this is kind of like what art deco looks like. Like they were kind of going a little bit crazy with patterns at times, although they usually don't put in like all the patterns next to each other. I would have appreciated like a more plain floor. Okay. And the kitchen is pink. However, I'd much prefer like a soft pink kitchen than a bright red kitchen that we've seen before. So that's always nice. Let's go upstairs. You'll never guess what color the bathroom is. Of course it's green, but you know, they're always green when it comes to EA, except for Isla Paradiso. Going into this bedroom, this is stunning too. I love the use of the plants all throughout the build, but especially in this bedroom, Love the geometric flooring. This is beautiful. Love the wallpaper. This is giving me the art deco fix that I've been hoping for. I don't know how I feel about this tile. It's a little too bumblebee, if you know what I mean. Like, why can't the Sims team make a white bathroom? That is the thing that I do not understand. Like, when I go to make a bathroom in the Sims, the first thing I do is grab a white tile and like a white toilet just to kind of get started. I wonder why their first instinct is to go to the color wheel because it's like the one room you don't have to do that. But even with that, this house has a strong style. I really like the color palette, even like the messy over textured areas I found very charming and kind of like true to the style. I don't know. This is my type of house. I'm going to give it a nine. Tragically, the least art deco we house had the most art deco inside. I think this is going to be one of those worlds where it's either the outside or the inside and never both. Next up is the Gilded Apartments. Once again, it's kind of like a roof decoration on top of like a smaller build, which again, I kind of like the idea and to be honest when I'm playing in Bridgeport I hate when I have to shoot all the way to the top of the screen up here to go to my apartment I like having everything kind of on the lower level and it's also going to be nifty if you want to do like garages and stuff this build doesn't really have it but I really love the gold color this is very outlandish very vintage glamour stuff if I do say so myself and that's very much my style I love it but I think with builds like this it's more about the inside right so let's jump in and see oh dear what is this there's like light shining on furniture on pedestals. I didn't see this when I was researching, but it could very well be an art deco thing. But what it really looks like to me is like a furniture store. But when you go inside, it's clearly not a furniture store.
store, so I don't really understand. Oh, wow, they even have like public bathrooms here and like metal urinals. My goodness, that's just bacteria waiting to happen. Okay, let's go upstairs. Ooh, I love these fence and posts. This is very Art Deco and they did it in like a nice metally gold. See, they know what they're doing at times. I just, I don't know like how they make some of the decisions that they come to. Going over here, all I see is scary spice left, right, and center, which I don't really hate, like to be honest. Oh, they have that painting again. I really like this painting. It kind of gives off the whole vibe and I didn't really talk about it, but these curtains are also very Art Deco and like very eccentric and glamorous, so I love that. Oh, thank God, we have a white bathroom. Next to it is like a pink tubbed bathroom, but I don't mind little splashes of color. I would just like it to be like relatively normal, if you know what I mean. Going into the kitchen, once again, it's a weird color. However, it's definitely more my color. I love this shade of blue, even if you think it's a green. The black and white checkers are also a consistent style that we've seen throughout this world, and I don't hate when they actually stick with something, even if I don't like it. And the final note, once again, dining room with only dining chairs and table and nothing else really. I mean, it's kind of peculiar and creative, especially with like the furniture store kind of being in the front, but I don't really know how that's gonna work. I don't know if it's like a style thing or or if it's an art thing like I don't like I really don't know but overall like this like this build didn't really do the trick the outside was pretty the inside is a little bit strange and they incorporated some of those elements that we like but unfortunately it didn't hit all the marks I'm gonna give this one a five and just like to end off I'm peeking back in at the wallpapers and the columns so I know they have access to some good art deco kind of items so I hope they get to use them a little bit better than they did here next up is hidden secret I have no idea why they call it hidden secret Secret. This is a giant skyscraper in the middle of downtown. I was searching all over like the countryside looking for like a little hole in the ground or something and apparently it's this apartment building. So the first thing I notice is that there's lots of like beds in the front window here and that leads me to believe that they are kind of showing like the ground level as like a more of a retail space which I definitely think is interesting and I do agree with. I liked it in the last house too. I just wasn't sure what it was supposed to be. 1920s is too early for Andy Warhol so I figured like it it couldn't be that kind of art. Okay, let's jump inside. Okay, so apparently we have to squeeze in under the roof here, but I don't mind that. Let's take a look. Inside here, I'm seeing like a very cohesive palette for once. It's very nice. Not super colorful, but I see a lot of the Art Deco textures. Again, I love the curtains. I love this flooring particularly is beautiful. They love doing the black and white checkers, which is not really my favorite, but I like when they do the black and white and gold. Notice like there's gold on the mirror, gold on the faucets. That kind of ties it all into together and gives it more of that art deco style. Ooh, I love the little brick flooring here too. Very, very cute. How big is this place? Pretty big actually. Let's take a look at the furniture. This is the same furniture I thought wasn't very art deco-y, but now looking at it, I really like it in this color. It was more of like a fault of the creative style choices in the last house. You'll never guess what the dining room has. Just a dining table and one decoration as usual. I would love for an end table in a dining room at this point. The kitchen though, uh, see it's so dark. I don't even know if that's green or black. I don't, I, maybe I'm just seeing things at this point. The floor is a little funky, but I wouldn't say it's art deco. I don't know. I didn't see anything like that when I was doing my research. But why is it called hidden secret? Is there anything like downstairs in the floor here? I don't see it. Wait, what the hell is this? Oh my God. There's like a secret basement. <gasps> Okay, so every Simmer knows exactly what this room is for. When you just have cages and toilets, it's for your prisoner slaves, right? Like you need people painting or writing or something to make you money. This is the kind of room for you. I don't know, I love it. This is very cool, because this is like EA showing like, hmm, we know how you guys play The Sims. Here's a torture room, right? So I don't know, I think that's like a nice little detail. Again, we're like in like an early morning situation where I'm not like screaming anything or freaking out, but like this really hit the nail on the head. I really like the secret area. The upstairs apartment was not hideous in any way. No green bathrooms, a few small picky faults of my own, but I think as a whole, this may be like as good as we're gonna get. I'm gonna give this one a 10. I just can't overlook this. Like this is like a Jim Pickens build before Call Me Kevin made Jim Pickens, right? So I don't know, I love it. I think this is like a nice little detail and I can't wait to explore this in game when I get done with this video. 
video. And last but not least is Humble House. Okay, so fun fact, I had to delete maybe like eight trees in the front. It was blocking the whole thing. I couldn't get any thumbnail shot at all. But looking at it now, I really like it. It's like in a similar style to one of the other houses that I really enjoyed. I love the use of the windows. I didn't mention it yet, but this like use of the windows right on the corner, like the two windows touching, that's very Art Deco. I saw that in a lot of my research. Now, these round windows, I really, really enjoy these windows. I was hoping they'd find a good place for them, but it looks Looks like they just use them in like empty rooms. I don't, yeah, so it's just like a hallway thing. I was hoping they'd use them for a bathroom or something fun, but overall, the shape is like a little bit blocky, but still fits in with that Art Deco style. And it's nice to have like different styles of builds, but still all the builds go together. You know what I mean? So like these two will go together, these three go together kind of thing. Oh my God, now I'm just rambling. Let's jump inside and see what we get. See, this is the other thing. Like again, they use that Art Deco couch, but then they use create a style and ruin it. So it doesn't look Art Deco at all actually this whole living room is a little bit way too plain uh, I don't know the kitchen I've noticed every fridge is separate from the counter so that might be an art deco thing and if it is well done and if not then it means the same person built all of these and just does that naturally so oh my god is this a green bathroom of course it's a green bathroom <laughs> oh my god how, how could I possibly forget oh we go upstairs to the second green bathroom I'm gonna ignore that because I feel like that's all I talk about these days because that's all EA gives me Looking at this plain bedroom, ugh, like the wall is not Art Deco, the chair again, the furniture, like, I don't know, like it's because it's like they've shown me that they can really do it in other builds. So when they have a build like this and it just falls flat, I'm just like, ugh. the other thing I'm not enjoying about these is like, I know I do this a lot too, like a pretend third floor, but I only do that for like mansions and stuff. And for these houses, they're not really big enough. And in fact, some of the buildings actually add on like two more floors than it needs so I think it's a little bit excessive and they don't really have a grand style to it on the inside that's where they should have done the focusing like instead of making the outside look grand you should have at least like done a little bit more of the inside that being said this might be like one of my favorite shells I understand why they add the extra floor and whatnot but at the end of the day like the inside isn't really cutting it for me and art deco encompasses many things but primarily what it encompasses is the outside architecture of a building which these builds are mostly getting but the inside, it's also like a very distinctive interior design style and they keep missing the marks for most of it. They did it once or twice well, but they certainly didn't do it here. I'm going to give this house a four. And as a final note, I don't really watch TV or movies, but like Bonnie and Clyde, I like I've heard of those people before. So I understand that it's a reference, but I just feel like the lore and the references are a little bit weak as well, right? Like usually there's something a little bit more obvious and a little bit more characteristic. So I'm a little disappointed with that as well. Well, that does it for the first episode of Roaring Heights. I don't really like my videos to go over 30 minutes. I think that's a little bit overkill, and I think this is just going to reach it. So we're going to do Roaring Heights in three episodes. It is one of my favorite worlds, regardless of how the builds are going. I still love to play in it. But what did you guys think? Did you like it? Are you familiar with the Art Deco style? Do you think they did a good job with it? Or is this just all new to you and you're as shocked as I am? But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give this video a like, and don't forget to subscribe for some more Sims hating content. I don't know, this is so much fun. Thank you guys for picking this world. I'm really excited to see kind of what comes next and start to kind of get your wheels turning on which world you want to see next because in the next episode, I'll probably throw on the community tab so that way you guys can vote for it. Thanks again. See you in the next one. Boom.